Over. Let's yeah. get it. Syrup, and we're going right into Steve the territory here on small battlefields. And once again, the heads up block to block the projectile. Yeah. And this is noted. This is Saga. This is a best of five here. Yep. Okay. okay. Top eight best of five. And not only a best Ooh. of five, remember, this is the last Xeno Saga. Nothing, there has never been a greater time for the Legend of John numbers to hold true than right now, right? This is John's house, and this is his last chance to defend it on this level. This is the strongest he'll ever be. I was going to say, we talk about John numbers on a Thursday, what about John numbers on a Saturday, yeah. you know? Today could be the day. Right now, though, it doesn't look like maybe right now is going to be the time. Yeah, no. Maybe like a little bit. Like, like, yeah. get, we got to give it a bit. So yeah, yeah. One of the <laughs> things, too, I really want to talk about, um, there's a lot of Wii Fit players uh, who believe, including, you know, I don't know how Nick District feels, but I know John believes this. I know uh, Just Blue from Massachusetts very strongly believe that Wii Fit actually beats Steve very well uh, because your hitboxes do a really good job at contesting block and contesting minecart, and you the awkward angles allow you to swing around block as well very well with things like up air and forward air. I can definitely see some of that logic. We're seeing a little bit of it in practice here, but beats is... Uh... Pretty, pretty tall order. Running out of resources here. We've seen a couple iron blocks, which is not something you normally see, but right there worked out. Surf sneaking in that back air to take that first shot, and John's gonna have to make something happen here. And yeah, no, this is not looking really good for John. Mm -hmm. But 120 with Sun Salutation, this setup, we, we could see something. Yeah. It's over. This is <laughs> well, no, the pickaxe was gone. He did find it. He missed the spike, though. When the last time we've seen John Numbers miss a down air like that? And Syrup's going to take that opportunity all the way to the bank. Not going to find the stock just yet, but 73 is a okay. huge amount of extra credit for him. And he's still not going anywhere. Finally. Basically, back to back deep breathing. Exactly what John Numbers is looking for. And we're kind of in the same boat that Reggie is in that one aerial off stage. I was like, oh, that's it. <laughs> But the pickaxe running out at an inopportune time, to say the least. Oh, it's going to be tough here. The iron block and was not perfect right ready there. for that tech yeah. either, unfortunately. It's just so awkward to figure out, am I going to tech this? Am I going to get around it? It literally depends there which part of the hula hoop animation he's in. Right? What side of the body is he shifted to? And just shift the wrong way at the wrong moment, unfortunately. Yeah. But John's played this character for so many years. At this point, I think he would know right, like, right. if he had to miss the tech or not. And I think it was the iron block messed up the timing a lot yeah. as well. Okay. Having all of the extra health, staying on the block for a little bit longer. And Syrup kind of running out of resources now. This could be a good opportunity for John to make something happen. There's those iron blocks again, and the diamond pickaxe is gone, but you don't need a diamond pickaxe for the up smash. Oh, no, no, you don't. And on gold right now, just faster aerials, and they're safer too. Mm. I think we still have a diamond axe maybe too, which is actually still pretty troublesome too. And we have another diamond as well but big sun salutation point blank even yeah i like that just like even if you just don't fire it immediately right the wind box creates a little bit of extra space to force him outside of that counter swing range and now we're just trying to get away but got caught between the minecart and the grab just a little bit of a hard place ace moment for him there now trying to find a way back down but the tnt is so scary for syrup yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was such a good setup he had to kill himself. Yeah, he's like, yo, I need to show you how good this setup is. Yo. If you're not going to fall for it, bro, I'm going to fall for it. <laughs> it's so good it mixed. I mean, they said, well, they said that's going to be the game for Syrup, but I was going to say uh, that that TNT, I mean, the, the last talk was straight forward that, you know, that TNT for that game, killing Syrup, might have really been the final mix. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. The TNT was huge. We saw earlier, just uh, like in the brief experience we had, in the D Dog Steve matchup with the Kazuya, you know, just putting the TNT down is really good to cut off some options. Sometimes even your own, as you see right there. But uh, it was good for against John Numbers too. Like we saw John had to go high, and then Syrup had all sorts of different options covered for that, putting blocks to kind of mess up the landing. And then, of course, those vertical combos were just phenomenal throughout yeah. the match. I think TNT for at least Steve is still unexplored and not okay. many of the people that play against them know how it works. Right, right. So it was like a lot of times you can run over a TNT and like jump over it and it won't exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No TNT needed there though. And but he dropped that too. Like a couple times, he had the NIL ladders, and he just missed one of the NIL. Still found a way to convert it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, John's still kind of stuck in a rough spot, and had plenty of different spots to kind of work around. Right, the blocks were a problem. The hitboxes were a problem. Sir found a creative way to end that stock, and now John on the back foot. It's going to be really tough. To make that up was this deficit. Speaking yeah. of cool TNT setups, that was a pretty slick one. Popping it onto the platform with the active. 
activation, but is it just me or did that timer fuse look like it took a little bit longer? Yeah. yeah. It, so like depending on like if you lay it out, it I think it goes off quicker. Someone check out that. But <laughs> They're going crazy in the Steve Discord right now. Yeah, I know. They, they, they might hate me. Yeah. <laughs> it's either that or they're mad I'm leaking their secrets. <laughs> okay, nice little follow-up. Oh, oh. We talked about before when we watched a little John Numbers BDB and how, how good John is at the ledge when you're avoiding a move like Wario F-Tilt. But that Steve down smash covers exactly that spot that we fit would like usually love to hang out at. So really good stuff from Syrup there for that pickup. Now and it's three to one. It's also a projectile as well, which a lot of people forget. So it interacts weirdly with like how you clank and swing through it, right? So just a little bit you know, awkward situations where a lot of the time John would try to counter hit you there and just can't. That was a really good tech chase almost. It didn't work, but that minecart covered basically tech back or tech in place. John did pick oh, the right no. Oh, oh my dead. goodness, he did not. I've never seen that one He before. got. Combo that was lava into anvil into lava, it looked like, into yeah. a wall? Yeah, basically. I think. Can we get a, a replay on, on how the, this one ended? So this is the second to last stock here with that yeah. lava down smash I mentioned, which just set John up to be in such a rough spot. So you cover the low recovery with the blocks, of course, and then the anvil does the rest. Yeah. And then but that last stock, we kind of saw something similar. Yeah, this last stock, just like, I want to I wanna yeah. slow this one down a little bit, too. And, and take a look at... So there's the classic setup. What actually happens here. Charging because, on the down yeah. smash as Because well. he charges it, it gets caught. Yep, he hits the anvil. Oh, into the into the lava, back into the... Yep, it just ping-ponged it around, and that was brutal. John also helped with the littlest hit of the up special on yeah. the first block as well. Oh, okay. That's oh, kind of crazy. Uh, still going. How did he... That was, that was just insane positioning. Maybe suboptimal DI from John Numbers there as well. The deep breathing, I think, also didn't caught. help. <laughs> no, it, it did not. It's like, yeah. oh, you're, you're closer? Yeah. <laughs> Bad. Oh, okay. That should be it, I think. Yep. Does Interesting. That forward air oh. is such an awkward scenario, though. Yeah. Because you DI in, right? You get spiked. You yeah. DI out. You're thinking he's, you're going to put him off the corner, but just barely not. John's still just not able to get back to stage, though. So great risk or reward analysis there from Zero. Yeah, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Right. There's some really interesting information and That's knowledge it. here on display from John Numbers. The confidence with which John is getting around some of the interactions is pretty interesting. Like we see the run-up down air on the blocks with deep breathing. But the problem is, is Syrup has like one additional trick after all of that. And that's usually where John's getting hit. And then Syrup is able to take that trick and turn it into 80 damage or a stock. It's, I think the peak thing with Steve is not that this character doesn't have counterplay. It's that he has so much counterplay to the counterplay against him. And all of its risk reward is like, oh, you counterplay me, right? You take 80 instead of losing your stock. Yeah. Kind of messed up right there. <laughs> but it's kudos to Syrup because Agreed. Syrup has so much game hours. Like, if you ever, like, I know this was like a meme from like a year ago. If you like look at his Switch, it's just so many games played. <laughs> so not even just Smash, you're saying just games? No, oh, well, Syrup's it's, just it's a Smash Bros. Yeah. No, it's just Smash Bros. But, but I mean, no, no other game I actually play. <laughs> he's, he's just an insane grinder. Like, you can tell how he really, like, I think of all the Steve's I watch. Even Akola, even Onan, it feels like like really Syrup is maybe the greatest student of his character that I've seen among his player base. It feels like he knows everything and he's willing to try and implement everything, even if his stocks are still just simple frame traps like that. Just makes it all work. Mm -hmm. Even right there, like it didn't necessarily look like that was the intended path, but some good improvisational skills turned it into a correct one anyway. Like, he's willing to get so technical with it just like this, but oh. he's also willing to just play the simple game when he needs to. Even still, just Anvil Lava doing it again, said, hey, it worked last game down low, let's try it up high. Yeah, John taking the first one right now, but hopefully that won't be his last one that he takes. I think he's still definitely got a strategy here. We're seeing him kind of start to implement it. The problem is the diamond's out, the materials are getting gathered here, and Syrup I think only wasn't able to get the stock at, in that last exchange is because there was no pickaxe. Yeah. You had to kind of just work with the sword and the axe. If there was a forward air or back air to worry about, we may have just been on to the next set. But John Number's fighting back. He's doing a good job right now, just keeping his time and not taking percent. But <laughs> <laughs> no, 80, 84. If you can somehow, like, cheese out of stock, then you can, like, you can game plan through this. 
but once you get to triple digits, I think that's it. Or if you get, you know, six six iron or so on that prestige part, right down to one now. So a little bit of work to go, but once Syrup just gets those resources bank, it's so hard to come back from, even if you can find this stock. Okay, well, the pickaxe is gone again, it looks like. See what Syrup can do here. Kind of setting up for a minecart right there, but John had the timing right. Unfortunately, though, stuck in a real bad spot right now. Makes it yeah. back somehow, though. Yeah, that was an incredible fall off stage. Right. Recognizing, wait, soccer ball, deep breathing, whole nine yards, everything I can do to just stay under that ceiling and away from that anvil's path of destruction. Like, oh. back off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It was so anticlimactic. It was such a, like, the movement, the tension was so building. And then funny block man and hops in, hops in, in block cart and go vroom. Yeah. Right. It was basically like, oh, you overcommitted in the mid range. And by overcommitted, I mean slightly, but it's still good enough as a yeah. wonderful burst option yeah. from the side special. You, you whiffed a button yeah. Yeah. from, it's, like, it also mid screen. It wasn't <laughs> even, like, powered minecart there, I don't think. So he was just like, yeah, it was, a, it was a very casual drive, a Saturday, yeah. you know, afternoon stroll. And I think Syrup's actually one of the best thieves at using unpowered minecart. A lot of thieves will, like, look for gold and try to bank gold to get mm -hmm. powered minecart at all times. But I see Steve, or Syrup Steve just throw out, like, on look, that first stop, right? this setup right, so right here. Many. Always does that. Mm -hmm. You know, two stone, one little ceiling, a little you, roof tile. You really can't do anything right there unless right. you, like, somehow roll before you get some minecart out. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, you roll, it breaks the blocks, then it picks yeah. you up, as we saw yeah. there. And then that stock, though, was disgusting. He mm -hmm. used the anvil to just pop himself up faster and become actionable sooner than he would otherwise. And NIL would have given him the maximum flexibility, but it doesn't threaten that hitbox if he air dodges around it to go low. Um, so it makes sense to see it that way. And just great coverage from Syrup all around. That was just a smothering presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was kind of the story we saw at the ledge. And then we kind of saw around the stage as well, but good stuff to all the gamers. And we're going to get a little bit of the same. Yeah, I was going to say, do you all like, 